vibras because we know the vibras welcome back to another episode of the you know the vibras podcast i'm the one and only wanda don and as always i'm accompanied by michael carrasco yo 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 and mr quest questifer from the Quest of Friends podcast, hey. aka the bootleg J hey. You know what I'm saying? The only the, I've been going the only Colombian we can get on the podcast. Yo, man. Man. You know, he's he, yeah, chill, you basically are a part of what the up, podcast gang? at this point. Yeah, bro. man. This is like you, up, you, this hey. man been on you, you, here three you, times. <laughs> he has a record, he has a record breaking record breaking record 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 wow. I really have been <laughs> I really have been here. Three times already. This, this is my yeah, time. man. You know what? We just gotta. You just gotta make you an honorary, honorary member of the. You know the builders podcast. Honorary. Honorary. Yeah, Michael, you having trouble? Man, yeah, man. It's been Michael, a long Michael, time. Michael, 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 Mo- Michael moments make a comeback in twenty twenty four. We'll see. We'll see. I take it. Talking about every every time I every time I get on the pod, bro. Every time, Michael, I don't know what's going on with you, gang. <laughs> you make him nervous, bro. But <laughs> speaking <me>. of. <laughs> I must, I must make them nervous. Hey, but speaking, well, <laughs> God damn. Sorry, damn. sorry, Playboy. All right, <laughs> <Romeo. laughs> no, nah, I have my Romeo voice coming out. Nah, but uh, speaking of 2024, uh, we're in the new year, guys. Hey, welcome to the new year, guys. Hey, um, I was gonna ask you, what do you guys do for New Year's, if anything? Ooh, Quest, you want to start? Or you want me to go? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'll start, I'll start, I'll start. Um, so my dad's birthday is on the 31st of December. Um, and what we do is we usually, we usually all get together, um, you know, at our house and, you know, we celebrate, Mm -hmm. um, you know, have good food. Um, we had some lechona the other, uh, for New Year's this year or last year. Um, you know, drink, you know what I'm saying? The usual, the usual. So at the crib, so at the crib. Get together. Yeah, at the crib, you know, or, celebration. Yeah, okay. Nah. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way, yeah. man. Spend time with family and all that, yeah. Now, for me, for me, what's yeah, up? Yeah, More sure. chill, man, you know. I show at home, uh, have some wine. And then at midnight, we just drove around and, <laughs> and uh, looked at the fireworks, man. That was pretty much what it was. Fun time, Word. though. Okay. Nice. What kind, what kind of... What kind of wine? Man, it's like have? a nice Pinot wine. You know, some something something slight, nothing too crazy. Pinot, 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 Pinot Noir, man. Pinot. Hey, man, let this man. Man, this man out this here. Man, you know, that's what I'm saying, man. That's man. what I'm saying. This, this man said. This man said. Nice. No, nah, he tried to. He tried to. He tried to seem fancy. He was like Pinot. Nah, he was like Pinot. Pinot. That's said how Pinot you say it, man. man. It's French. <laughs> Pinot. <laughs> Pinot Noir, man. Anyways, fucking friend. <laughs> uh, for well, yeah, it was my first uh, New Year's in Chicago because last year I was in hey. I was in DR. Um, so we, uh, me, and my brother, and Ariel, we went to uh, downtown. Mm-hmm. First of all, I got I got a got a bone to pick. I'd say with uh, what's the what's the place called? Mm-hmm. Uh, Cheesecake Factory. All right, all right. They're they're tra- they're overrated and trash, bro. Man, you just probably went to the one in in the hood, bro. <laughs> no, down, I literally said downtown. Are you deaf? I don't know, bro. I don't know that, what part of downtown you were is that, cheesecake bro. Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> bro. Cheesecake Factory. Is okay, overrated. why? Why was it? Why was it asked? Why was it? Well, asked? first of all, I mean, Tell first us. of all, it took us no lie, probably like an hour. Well, all right, to talk to the server, probably like thirty minutes all right. at the table. And then it probably mm-hmm. took us like mm-hmm. close to an hour to get the food. Uh, when we got mm-hmm. the food, the portions were garbage, very bad, small portions for what you pay for. And uh, it was just, it was. I mean, people just made it seem like it was the best, like inexpensive, like cheap, you know, good restaurant, whatever. I mean, for what it is, man. But it's not that good, though. It's like not, bro. I ordered the pasta. The pasta was mid. Very mad. My brother ordered like some steak or something, and when I tell you, he got like two or three pieces of like you know like cube steak was was crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that was like I don't know, it was it was just wild, bro. The portion sucked and the food was trash. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was about But yeah, anyways, after that we went to we walked towards uh the river walk where they uh had the fireworks. They did a nice thing here in downtown. They did like 
fireworks and they also did uh like a countdown so it was something great to see uh in the city you know my first time in a big city doing a new year's i always thought of you know how it would be like you know when you look at new york and these other places but right right it was dope it was dope to to be in it but it was super cold but it was a great new year's mm. i would say now nah, that's what's up that's what's up man that's what's up before we get into it as well i got another bone to pick oh man <laughs> what man what Jiffy Lube is canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Jiffy Lube. What the hell? Why did Jiffy Lube do to you, man? Come on now. <laughs> Jiffy Lube is canceled, man. Um, I had a leak. This is I'm gonna do it really quick. Well, well, that sounded kind of I don't know. But I had a car leak, okay. <laughs> and uh I didn't know what it was. I assumed it was oil. So I went to Jiffy Lube, who was my oil service provider mm. at the time. Uh mm-hmm. And I'm like, hey, I got an oil leak. Like, can you guys confirm that it's an oil leak? Let me know uh, if it's an oil leak and, you know, can you fix the problem? Long story short, <clears throat> they check it or whatever. And uh, come to find out, they said it wasn't an oil leak, that it was a uh, power steering fluid that was leaking. Mm. Um, okay. They topped it off. They said, we're going to top it off. You're good to go with this or that, whatever. So, okay, boom. I, I, I believe in them because they're, you know, oil service, you know, professionals, quote mm-hmm. unquote. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm looking at my dashboard and I'm seeing that my oil thing is, you know, my gauge or whatever, or whatever the percentage is, you know, marking good, like 85% or something. I'm like, okay, it can't be the oil. Long story short, days go by, get a check engine. I'm like, whoa, something is a bigger problem here. So uh, it, I, when I go to check my engine, like with the at AutoZone, it says oil like a uh, switch uh, failed or something. I'm like, whoa. Maybe it was the oil, you know, but I didn't pay it any mom. Like, man, oil switch can't be that much of a big deal. It's still marking, you know, the the oil, like, it's still going down. You know what I'm saying? Like, gradually at the right pace. <clears throat> so, I mean, it can't be that big of a problem. Right. One day, Greg, I, I was talking to Greg. He was like, when I told him the situation, he was like, hey, he was like, bro, go home. You're bugging. Like, my oil, I mean, not my oil, my engine um, almost messed up, and I had a similar problem. I'm like, what? So, I go home. He's like, check the oil. I checked the oil, bro. When I tell you this thing was drier than like a white, mm. you know, Thanksgiving steak, uh, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like turkey. Ooh. It was dry. No gravy. It was dry. Damn. Dry. The stick was dry. Damn. Sheesh. So Pause. it just goes to, you know, tell you guys, don't believe in these professionals, you know, and check your oil. If I mean, and in life and you check anything, you just don't listen to professionals. Get a second opinion. Um, and yeah, I almost died. Basically, get your, we call me for you, Carl. By the way, get yourself checked too. <laughs> get yourself checked. Also, I, le- I left a bad review. By the way. Man, you should have emailed corporate at that at oh, that God. point, man. They could have probably set you up with I, a I, whole I, year free free oil exchange. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to deal with them. I didn't care anymore, bro. But yeah, that's that, that's my uh, bones to pick. Now we can continue. Damn, hey, man. Okay, Quest. Hey, hey, hey I don't even know you there, man. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what, what's new, man? What's, what's new, up? man? <laughs> what's new? Where have you been? Up, um, update the listeners on the podcast and uh, that that was was <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. um, so where have I been? I mean, shit, I've been chilling, you know what I'm saying, working. Um, I've been trying to, I've been trying to figure out like what, um, what avenue. I want to take my podcast mm-hmm. in now because we took we took somewhat of a no we didn't take somewhat of a break we took a fat ass break um I want to say like mid July um and then you know I went to Colombia for two weeks um kicked it out there came back and I was like damn I'm like do I really want to keep recording you know what I'm saying like do I want to do I want to keep like doing this as a hobby and like putting time and effort into it or, you know, do I, do I call it, you know, do I call it an end? And, um, you know, I was, I was talking to a few people and all of them basically were like, yo, don't stop doing this shit. Cause like, this is dope. It's dope to see. It's dope to hear. Um, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's a dope experience when we're here. So like, no, nah, I don't think you should stop, um, recording completely, but at least, you know, change it to like maybe once every mm. two weeks or once every month. 
you know? So, I mean, I'm steady trying to figure out like what kind of pace I want to go at and, and like how I want to approach recording again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm, you know, I'm not really going anywhere. I just got to really figure out how I want to go about, you know, recording from now on. Okay. But yeah, we out here. Okay. We hey, now we're happy to see you back, man. Um, I was curious. You mentioned Colombia, man. I haven't talked to you about the Colombia trip. How was that, though, before we get into the podcast <laughs> stuff? How, how was your Colombia trip? You know, uh, how long was it since you've been there? Um, I want to say I want to say it had been like a smooth five years okay. since I had gone. OK. Was it was it the um, same? Have things changed? I, I went... No, nah, I mean, it was the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, different um, different stores where other things used to be. You know what I'm saying? The scenery was a bit different, but I mean, pretty much the same. Kicked it in my, kicked it at, you know, my family's house. Um, went out there for two weeks, you know, hung out with family. Um, I, I went, I went out to, a to an island out there, um, called San Andres. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. The fucking water was amazing. The sand, the wet, like it was raining. It was raining so bad, but it was it was worth it though, for real. I also uh, I also busted the fuck out oh, of my kneecap, man. <laughs> when I was out there, like, yeah, like I slipped, I slipped, I slipped on the Ooh. tile floor Ooh. in my. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bad. It was. Woo. Were they were they cleaning the floor yeah. or was it like a? Nah. So 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 what happened was we were getting ready to go um, to the beach, okay. right? And and somebody had sprayed um, sunscreen. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And so and so I'm putting I'm putting on my fucking you know my my water shoes, and I go to adjust myself on the hotel on the hotel bed, mm-hmm. and um and like my my leg like just slips, bro. <laughs> and I'm like I'm always trying to catch myself. I'm trying to catch myself. But then my right, my right leg just kind of folded in like a really awkward position, and yeah, my knee—I I was out of commission for at least Damn. like a day. Who? Yo, rough. tell me—is it me or like now? Like, let's say like if, when you were a kid, you'll probably be out for like twenty minutes. But now, bro, like the pain is different now that we're getting older. Shit, <laughs> shit. Who you telling? Bro, bro, I turned, bro, I turned, I turned hey, thirty. Congrats, this year, bro. congrats, thirty, thirty, you know yes, saying? sir. My, 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 my back is like <laughs> killing me. Hey, man, my body is not the same. Chiropractor no is the way to go, man. Shit, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Is it? Is it? Uh, how how is it in Colombia? Like, is it expensive to as a tourist, or is it is it um <clears throat> like is it manageable? Like, uh, what do you recommend for those who are considering maybe going to Colombia one, you know, one time for a trip? Uh, also recommend some places they should visit. But if it's a, if it's manageable as a current in currency wise and stuff like that. So, I mean, definitely look into the exchange rate. You know what I'm saying wherever mm-hmm. you go, look into the exchange rate and see what it's see what it is, see what it's like. Um and definitely save as much as possible. Right. You know what I mean? The, the more money you, the more money you save, the more comfortable you are. Um, and again, that goes for anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, but it, and like some spots, I would recommend. Mm-hmm. Like I would recommend Cartagena, San Andres. Um, you know, Cali. Cali's cool. Right. Um, like Cali doesn't really have any any like beach like they don't have any beaches in Cali or in like Bogota but you know when you go to like Medellin um Cartagena San Andres mm-hmm. that's where like the beaches are at like that's where they all right, are right right you know what i mean basically but is it expensive though like is it expensive like the food to buy food you know to to you know to do a day you know so when it comes so when it comes to food, not really. Okay. No. But like, let's say you want to go to the mall, mm-hmm. right? You want to go to the mall. You want to go like shop. Expensive. I don't know. You know what I'm See, that's that's I mean, who who goes to shop in other country. I, I I don't understand. You take a lot of clothes, I mean, like. So, so so to be fair, to be fair, like for example, um, 
I copped a jersey mm-hmm. and shorts for 80 bucks. So, like, in comparison, it's not bad. But if you want to go, like, go blow a bag, yeah. I mean, it adds up, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. I would definitely, like, just save up save up as much bread as you can. Right. Um, look at the exchange rate. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, just kind of gauge and see what's what's going, what's really going on out there. But, I mean, it's it's manageable. It's nothing right. crazy. Now, it's funny you mentioned yeah. the uh, the exchange rate. Um, There was some controversy uh, a couple of days back. Uh, regarding uh, mm-hmm. Google and their, uh, I don't know, the, the, I don't know how you call it, but you know they had a thing where Dominican Republic the dollar the dollar was uh, at thirty three pesos Dominican pesos mm-hmm. when it's like it should be right like right now it's at fifty seven and so there was a thing with uh, Google where they had just had messed up a lot of exchange rates and people were going crazy. A lot of people were taking money out and, you know, expecting to buy dollars cheaper. And, you know, mm-hmm. like it was just a lot of craziness. Right. And uh, what happened was uh, so Google then figured out they messed up because it was just wasn't a dollar. It was just everything, the euro and everything. What had happened was they had messed. They realized they messed up and they had tried to change it. And what they did, they put the Dominican peso to 85 pesos for the Ooh. dollar. <laughs> And then, then Boy. the day out, they put it down to fifty eight or something. It's it just, a, it was a lot of crazy. Man, things man, on. let me find out. I can go. I can. Man, if the dollar is at eighty some, eighty some pesos, man, that's a good time in the air, man. Bring yeah, like 80, a thousand, eighty five, yeah, eighty five. A thousand yeah. dollar would be like eighty five thousand. But but listen, but listen, but listen, man. but listen. I, I was a I, no, nah, I was a bit, I was a bit sad when I saw it at thirty three. Come like man. I, you guys don't know, but I mean, you guys. Right. Don't know. Oh yeah, you guys know. I'm about to travel over there, so it's like, damn, everything gonna be expensive. I'm like, bro, just just what I'm like, just when I'm going to go travel, it decides to go down. Right. It's just my right. luck, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, bro, I was so I was so salty. I was stressing out, mm-hmm. like pissed, bro. I was like, bro, there's no way, bro. There's no way. Please tell me there's not a way. Then I see the 85. I'm like, yes. Yo, fast. <laughs> down to 58. <laughs> It's an 85, boy. I'm about to have a good old time over there, man. Yeah. Yeah, not nah, facts. It's crazy, man. But but what's the currency? What's the dollar in uh Colombian um capacity? So so we we go we go by the thousands, mm-hmm. right? So I think the most I've seen it at was like four thousand eight something. Mm-hmm. Like wait, 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 like wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. So like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Before you, before you spaz, it's like, for example, a thousand pesos in Colombia a is dollar. like fifty cents. Ah, God, that's that's gotcha. what I'm trying to understand, Dan. Mm-hmm. But why is I don't understand how they get to that number though? Like how? Like how you go from zero to a thousand and it's worth? You know what I'm saying? The same. I just don't get it. I guess it's like the value of things. You yeah, know, no. it's like in Japan. No, but like. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it's confusing. No, no, like, like, what? How much is a bag of chips? You know what I'm saying? If you're talking about cents, you gonna tell me it's a thousand pesos? It's a thousand? So, so how did it get to the thousand? Is so, what I'm saying. So like, so like a bag of chips, a bag of chips go for like two thousand five hundred. That's insane. Bro. So that's why. That's why. That's why that like, like, it's like a dollar. But like, no, but like, no. No, I know what you're saying. Like I, know, I, I know. I know. I know the value. Like I understand the value. I'm just saying, how do you go from zero yeah. to two thousand? That quick, you know what I'm saying? For a less, for a small amount, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense, in my opinion. But like, damn, that that's an, no, that's insane. You. That's I insane. You. That's insane. It took it took me a minute, bro. Like, I was like, I was yeah, like damn. it has to be super confusing. Like, what the hell? Like, for example, for example, I had, um, I had exchanged a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. right? And in uh. In Colombian pesos, mm-hmm. it was like three hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like three, like three, three fifty. Yeah. You know Boy, felt so like, like a rapper out there. That's a, that's what I was about to say. I was about to say then you can you can be a millionaire. You can be a millionaire. You can be a millionaire easily then. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, but you gotta be you gotta be getting paid what you right, getting paid facts, out here. Though. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, and you and you really don't when you're out there unless you got like a. So look, like five five hundred dollars um, makes you a a Dominic or a Colombian pesos millionaire. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, just that's crazy. That's crazy. 
But but yeah. it doesn't make sense, bro. Porque te van a decir, tú eres un millonario, but if the worth isn't, that's why it just doesn't make sense to me. Colombia this, needs this to fix is the their thing, bro. Anymore. I feel like it's like, uh, like for example, like in the yard. <laughs> no, won't be, won't be slighting me all the time. No, no, nah, because it's not nah, going, Michael. For you, now, forget, this, this is the thing. Like yeah, man, I, yeah, I was doing yeah, the man. calculation when I went to the yard with my. If I kept like my salary from like U.S. salary over there, I'll be a millionaire. I'll make like over a million pesos every year, but then if we look at like the value of like how much people pay uh, for rent, like I was doing the the equation, bro. Like my sisters over there, they rent a whole house, and what I pay a month here for them, they can pay for a whole year over there. Yeah, I understand that, bro. But but listen to yeah, but listen, but listen. How is it then? Then there, then the word mil- millionaire isn't really a word in, in Colombia then, because well, if five hundred dollars is what's a millionaire's worth in Colombia, then you can't just use that word as a prestige, you know. Well, thing I mean, you can then. because the the economy is different. The economy environment will be different for them. Like for them to get five hundred dollars, I mean, probably will be a little harder than us getting five hundred dollars over here. That, that's what I want to get. Is that is, is that true? I mean, that's I mean, what I'm talking about. But like that, that's 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 what they make in the money. But it's not a third world you know country, I mean? man. Like, like it's booming though. It's not bad. It's, I mean, okay. So here's the thing about third world country. Like that that mm. phrase, third world country. If you if you really put everything under a microscope, mm-hmm. right? Every single country, mm-hmm. even even out here in the mm-hmm. U.S., bro, you can you can look at it and be like, "Damn, this this looks and feels third world country esque." Okay. Now, mind okay. you, we may not be in that situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? We may not know. You know, we may not really know what it's like, right? But like, for example. Out there, out there in Colombia, like where 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 my family's from, right? We we got slums. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it gets it gets nasty, you know. Um, but then but then again, that's like I said, that's everywhere. Right. You feel me? It's everywhere. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Colombia may not be as bad as as like Venezuela, because right. Venezuela has been going through mm, a lot yeah. um, in recent years and in the past, right? But I mean, you know, um, like when it comes to money and stuff, like it, it's just it gets a bit complicated right. when you start to when you start to do when you start to do math. Like, um, like like Michael said, it's like you know his sisters are out there and they could like they could pay a year's rent with what Michael pays in a month. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's this, it's the same shit like in Colombia. Right. You know what I mean? Like, for example, two thousand dollars out there in Colombia. That's 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 a grit. Mm-hmm. You know what so, I mean? so like I was looking. Like that, that'll yeah. That could set somebody up for like two, three years. Yeah, I was looking. Like, I was looking, and uh, it makes sense now because it's saying that um that the most affordable country to retire mm-hmm. in in twenty twenty four is Colombia. Exactly. It's crazy that we're talking about that article. Literally just came out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. bro. It's wow. Huh? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they, were, they were talking about uh, Medellin. They're like, yeah, in a very nice neighborhood in Medellin, for instance, a truly green city. Uh, you said you can rent. A, oh, you yeah, can rent what, a two bed place for between seven hundred and a thousand a month. That's cheap as hell, bro. Yeah. Damn. That's cheap as hell. But the thing is, but again, the thing is like you would have to secure right. a right. job yeah. that is gonna right. pay you right. yeah. that amount that of money. That makes sense. That makes you know sense. That makes sense. Like I could I could um like I've been I've been I've pondered the idea in the past of like just saying, fuck it, I'm gonna just go. Stay out there for a year. Hell no. I can't. Cause like when you look at the scope of like the workforce yeah. and like mm-hmm. what's out there. Yeah. Like I really got a deep dive. Like I'm sure I can find connections. Something. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, but it's like, I got, I, I really got a deep dive and find something that, is, that like is going to allow me to right. live out there. For so, you. so how do you guys feel about that though? How do you guys feel about the whole, uh, 
man, when I get to that age, you know, I'm going to retire and live out of the country, live in like a, another country. Like, do you guys think the same way it has people? Or like, do you think it's not a bad thing to retire in the States? Nah, man, I'm going to DR, man. <laughs> I, I already said it, man. I'm I'm going to DR. Man, just think about it, bro. Like, five hundred. Like, like I said, bring back the samples from my sisters. It's like, what if I can? If I can, literally, with what I pay a month of rent here, pay for a whole year of rent. I mean, it only makes sense. And maybe pr- find like buy like a like land early on, like maybe a couple years before. I, I'm ready to retire, build a house, and maybe buy a little farm and, uh, you know, have the farm producing uh, for me. That way I have money sitting for retirement. Mm. That would be my plan. Yeah. But... What you trying to produce, <laughs> Michael? Damn, <laughs> son. He said, he said, have that farm producing for me. Damn, dog. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Damn, look look into this guy. By the, allegedly, yeah, allegedly, allegedly, nah, allegedly, look, allegedly. Look, 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 in, allegedly. look into him so I can stay with all the royalties, man. Look into him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, <laughs> quit, quit. you see Michael's face as soon as I did that, she's like, what? Yeah, facts. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, quest, oh, what, what, what do you plan on? Uh, would like would, when you get to that point, would you would you think of Colombia or would you look at uh somewhere else? Hold on, I can't. For some reason, I can't um, hear whatever you guys are saying. Hold on, I was trying to figure it out, bro. What? <laughs> bro, oh we was talking about the day this whole time. He didn't even know. Technical difficulties, bro. I we literally can't. The, the whole right time, now. bro. All right, now I. I show back on. We gotta keep this in. We gotta. We gotta keep this in. Yo, this has to stay in. Can Come you hear us? Or can you? Now I can. Now I can. Yo, yo, yo. I can hear you all now. Hi, yo. Okay. Okay. De lo mio. Well, we were talking about you and you didn't even hear us. That's crazy, bro. bro. Yeah, that, bro. That took away from the uh damn. But uh, but yeah, so Quest, what would you say? <laughs> we're back to what you were saying. Uh-huh. Um I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'll definitely look into Colombia. Like it sounds nice. The idea of it is nice. But like, I don't know, you know, because it's it's a whole different shift in lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Although although I've I've I consider myself to be a part of it because I've you know semi grown up there as right. well. But it's like, but it's like to be living out there as opposed to what I'm accustomed to out here. Right. I don't know, yeah. you know, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I go to uh, mm-hmm. go to Medina Cartagena. Right. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I think it all depends, man. I think it all depends your situation, you know, your family. Like, mm-hmm. say, for instance, if you have kids, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it isn't as easy to just get up and go. I feel right. like those who don't have kids, it, it makes more sense. But, you know, kids factor into that, I feel like, uh, you know, a, an important mm-hmm. part. But, uh, I mean, I definitely think I could see myself retiring in DR. Yeah. I mean, definitely. You know, or at least, like, parts, like, like, where I spend, like, spend time in the U.S., but also spend time, like, in DR for the most part of the year. I could be another like. Right. I mean, I mean, that's 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 what my uncle's mm-hmm. doing right now. Okay. I'm saying like he he retired recently and like he's building he's building his own crib, got got a piece of land, and like he's he's um he's been going back and forth. Okay. You know, like I'm like I'm sure he's gonna go out there in full, um at some point, but like for now he's been going back and forth and it's been working. So, you know. Or. Yeah, you. I mean, you. You could definitely like go back and forth if you if you like really wanted to. And you plan yeah, it out, right? Yeah, now. definitely not a bad plan for real. And I feel like once you retire, there's a lot more flexibility because you don't got to worry about a job. You don't have to worry about you know. <laughs> this <laughs> you and don't the third. Do exactly. Yeah. So I feel like once you approach that, like you got a little more flexibility to the side once you get there. So 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 uh quest question question real quick question man so uh so last year uh I mean you're a big music guy right um so last year 20, yeah. 2023 uh who was your you know your top artist of the year I'm curious man and are they carrying it over to 2024 are you gonna you know switch it up a bit um 
top artists of 2023. For you, not, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for me personally, like I, I would say Tizo Touchdown. Yeah, I'm not gonna know anybody you mentioned, by the way. But <laughs> go for it. I'm telling you, bro. I'll be, I'll be trying, I'll be trying to put this man on, but he's like, nah, bro. I like listening so to Kiri Dem so nasty. and fucking Romeo Santos <laughs> when I practice in the mirror. <laughs> like, bro, I'll be, I'll be trying to put y'all this, on. This guy, this guy's, guy's the only this, hater that says I don't sound like Romeo. Everyone else tells me I talk like Romeo. <laughs> This man, this man Quest got a this man Quest got a whole Romeo shout out, man, for free, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Stop that Playboy. Like, my son said, my son said, what's up? What's up, Playboy? <laughs> how you how you doing? I was like, damn. Nah, man, that's crazy. Nah, but like I just feel like music was it was very uh the music scene was very eventful in 2023. Mm-hmm. And, uh, no, it definitely was. I yeah, feel like yeah. it's I, low key. I feel like it's off to a slow start. I mean, we're six days in. Um, I mean, yeah, it's only. It's, but it's, but but you don't but you don't hear any over. buzz though. Like no right. music buzz. It's it's like everything but music. Like Cat Williams is is right. You know, he's on top of everything right now. For <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Playboy Cardi is dr- he's dropping. No, 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 no. no. Let, let's t- let's touch that. You had you had an um, uh, an interesting face when I mentioned Cat Williams. Right? I mean, I mean, only only because I only because I listened to the podcast. You know, two hour two um, hour long podcast. You listened to the whole thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I just put it on as, as background noise, like I do with a lot of the podcasts. Oh, that I wow. listen to. When I'm driving, when I'm <laughs> driving, or like when I'm doing something, you know what I'm saying. You know, when I, when I listen to you know the View Less podcast, yes, this man doing the dishes while he's listening to you know Spotify. the View Less. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, Legit. wait. So, but we got to talk about that man because Cat Williams, uh, he exposed a he, nah, he let that motherfucker, yeah, he, he exposed a lot he, of stuff. He shit um, he exposed a lot of people. Um, he said a lot of a lot of and things, like, and it's crazy because he, he, yeah, he was back, he was backed up too. My bad, I didn't know nah, you good. Up. He was backed up too by ice cream, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pe- people were backing what he was saying, and like, it's like, hey man. It might be true. It has to be true you because you see, like, for instance, Kevin Hart's reaction was like, it was so cringy. Like, he, you could tell he was guilty of what Cat Williams was saying. <laughs> he was making the weakest jokes, bro. Like, and on the NBA, he because he has the NBA... Uh, yeah, 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 NBA Central right. or whatever. And uh, Cat Williams saying, like, he's a plant. Like, he's basically a plant. And you see, like, for instance, he responded on the NBA TNT joint. Like, he didn't, you mm. know, respond anywhere else. So he responded where he's a plant. And it was really weak though. But Cat Williams, man, he, he went off, man. He went off on a lot of people. Um, and it's and like the, it's good to see people that are, are real in the industry, though, right? Like, in in the yeah entertainment industry, yeah. And not afraid. Like one the one thing I like about Cat Williams is that he's just like he's he's a great storyteller. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like whether whether or not it was a fabricated story, I, I saw this tweet where somebody said somebody said. Cat Williams basically used that interview as a stand-up special. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cause like not only was he letting the motherfucker ring, but he was being he was being comical. Yeah, right? facts, you know facts, facts, facts. Like, who knows if this man really read 3,000 mm-hmm. books? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we don't know. Yeah. We don't really know, right? But it's it's two it's two books delivery. per day, by the way. No, I heard, I heard it's like eight books a week. Or oh, I thought it was two books. That's what somebody... I thought that's what I seen somebody said. Man, that, that's that's still yeah, crazy, man. though. Eight books a week is still crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Bro, Michael, what are you doing, doing man? You're not even focusing on us, man. Just kick, Yo, kick this man, kick this man out of this thing, crazy, man. bro. I don't know what the heck is going on. Yo, somebody give this man the book, man. <laughs> but that's... Step. 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 You know what I mean? Yo, chill, bro. Chill, bro. Bro, this bro, yeah, this, this I, man Michael, he, he dude, this man though. Michael. Yeah, he can hear us, man. Yeah, I can hear you. He probably even, he, yeah, yeah. Bro, the last bro, Michael is so out of date, bro. The last news he probably knows about is like freaking coronavirus, man. That, that's how out of date this man this is. This man, bro. listen. Damn. Man. I just don't be on like this is for me, bro. Like I try to keep up with certain <laughs> stuff, but it's just like as far as like watching the news, I just I don't like seeing the negativity, so I just don't focus on. Nah, but like this, but like this is a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from, from that, watching like because a motherfucker like me right. watching news, yeah, right, I get my right. news Twitter, exactly, bro. exactly, Twitter, exactly. Like what you, you know what I'm saying? But like 
so speaking to that, I, I think that I think that there's value in staying staying at least somewhat mm-hmm. in the know. You know, given given what we do. Right. Exactly, right. bro. It's like exactly. You know, That's what I try to tell this man, gotta, bro. We gotta be we gotta be a part of it. We don't have to indulge completely in it. But you gotta but be in the know, loop. Yeah, at loop, least bro. at least I try like to stay loop. on the loop, like at least know what's somewhat happening, but I don't like I just don't go especially the negative stuff, I don't go too deep in deep into it. All right, we're, we're, we're going to test you, man. What's the last current event you know of, man? Last current event? I mean, I was reading up on the Miami thing shortly, like uh, the whole brawl that happened. And then seeing the <laughs> memes going crazy on... Uh, on uh, The who? The memes going crazy <laughs> on, oh, uh, oh. on X, Bunch yeah. And, and then, uh, I mean, I, I on the Cat Williams I, like I, uh, interview, I read up like part of it, not nothing too crazy. I didn't watch the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't. I didn't watch the video yeah. either, but I mean, I put it on though. Well, what well, a good thing is they, like, you know, like every content creator. I mean, YouTube now mm-hmm. are making like short, like short clips of it. You know what I'm saying? Like on YouTube, so yeah, you get to you know go to what you want to hear about because there's some stuff I didn't even know about that I didn't, you know didn't interest me. Mm-hmm. But I just went to the ones that did interest me. You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy. Uh, you know how I just think it's crazy how how he exposed a lot of you know people. For what reason, though? It's just, it was just like the most random thing. You know what I'm saying? It just came up. Well, no, no, no. So, so apparently, um, apparently, Cedric the Entertainer mm-hmm. and Ricky Smiley, um, they had said something about things pertaining to... Comedy? Um, to, to, no, to Cat Williams. Uh. And, like, within that realm of, like, what he was doing within his career, things like that. Uh, so he just came to set the review straight. You know what I'm saying? I think I thought wasn't it about the uh it was I think it was more so about Steve Harvey and and the, something about the some tour that they well, had. That's, that that's 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 what I'm saying cuz it's Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley. The Smiley's great the, the goats or something, the ghosts of comedy something like that. The great yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's crazy. And uh I think he was left out, right? Or something like that. Cat Cat Williams. Shit. I don't really I don't know. I don't know how deep it goes. I just, I just remember what my man was saying about Ricky Smiley and Cedric the Entertainer and Steve Harvey as well. Yeah. And like you know, he he defended Bernie Mac. Rest yeah, in peace. Yeah, he he defended him heavy, bro. That's facts. But uh, rest in peace, because like. Mm-hmm. Damn, we were taking a moment of silence. No, no. Nah, but uh, I'm just gonna bring up another topic because mm-hmm. my. Oh, damn, Whoa. what the hell? You just got shot Holy up? Shit. What was that? You just got shot up, man? Nah, it was a fireworks. Oh, man. What the hell are you doing now. fireworks for? Jay? <laughs> Why are you guys doing fireworks? Uh, it ain't us. I don't know. Oh. Somebody. Um, But let's let's shift this over, man, to the uh, recent craze of the uh, Stanley Cups. Man, the- if y'all don't go to fucking five and below, <laughs> like, come on. Well, they haven't five and below? They got the they, they got the knockoff they got, versions. Bro, they got they got dupes for almost everything at five below. For real? They got GC slides. You can find a dupe for almost anything. <laughs> anyway, GC slides bro. for real? Close to it. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. Well, Michael be up in five below all the nah, time. Man, I'll I mean, be there, I think, I'll be there for well, the candy. Nah. I think it's crazy though. Nah, I, I facts, think it's though. crazy that uh that people are camping out though, man. That that's what really surprised me most. Listen, son, man. Son, these people were, these people were out at like five in the morning, bro. Yo, it, it damn did. Like Target, Target don't open till eight, eight or nine, nine a.m. Nine a.m. Yeah. It felt, bro. People were taking. It yeah, felt man. like a sneaker release, bro. Yeah, that, that's what people were comparing it to. And uh, it's funny. That shit felt so yeah. dystopian. Yeah, and when they went in, they're like, they're like two per person, and they bro. <laughs> the, it's too, it defeats the purpose because you go in with a group of people. You guys are like a family. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna take most for the family and, and resell it on StockX, which StockX is reselling for like come to two hundred, which is insane. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Don't yes, sir. Yeah, bro. For two hundred. Yes, sir. They're on StockX, bro. They're going crazy, bro. Bro. Yeah. Ain't no fucking way. And it's a Starbucks collab. First of all, free Palestine. Okay. It's a fucking Starbucks bro. collab. And. Nah, nah, you know, somebody said if they're doing this for the Starbucks collab, 
Wait till they do like a Supreme collab. They're mm. gonna crush the internet, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean that too. And like, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Everybody, everybody always says Supreme is like Supreme is dying. Supreme nah, is man. dying. And then they drop a collab, and it's like that shit spreads like wildfire, bro. Like, what do you mean Supreme is dying? Supreme's exactly. always gonna have yeah. something. You know. Mm-hmm. Speaking of collabs, so y'all know Birkenstock, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Birkenstocks. Yeah. So, and y'all are y'all familiar with Kiss? Kiss the band? No, 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 Kiss. Oh. No, Kiss. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, you have yeah. a lips? A lips? Yeah. A lisp? You have a lisp? You can't even say it right now. Nah. You said, let me... Try to play you got a lisp, man. You said, Kiss. Kiss. Yeah. I've heard of the brand, I think. Yeah, they I did that call out with uh, TaylorMade and the golf club. So, 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 they, so they have a collab with Birkenstock, mm. bro. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be fired. Tell me why these fucking Birkenstocks... They look dope. You know what I'm saying? They look dope. But for the price point, bro... These motherfucking shoes, these motherfucking slippers slash shoes go for fucking almost damn near $500. For mm. real? Huh? Yeah, bro. Last I checked, when it first dropped, it was like, God damn. Bro, they look basic. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. What I enjoyed about it, what I enjoyed about it was... 700 Oh, they said the braided, yeah, the braided thing about them, yeah. But, but, at, but at that point, at that point, you're just paying for a name. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So so how do you guys feel about that? Uh you know, paying for the name as to, you know, the quality itself of the brand or of the of the you know because I feel product. like a lot of these uh right exactly the product. I feel like a lot of things just slap the name on there and people, you know, go crazy about the name more so than what they're actually buying. So wh- where do you think the actual problem stems from? Is Man, it the people the, the, within or is it just def- definitely the people within, man. We we can big biggest example. When Kanye released what was it the the Pablo uh, clothing line, all he did he took gilding t shirts and slapped a logo on it, and now that made it that made it like a two hundred <laughs> you know two hundred plus however they were going no. for for, uh, for t shirt. I feel like the branding mm-hmm. definitely influences mm-hmm. a lot behind it, and then I feel like we all are custom like. Not gonna lie, man. Will you rather wear some Pumas or rather wear some Nikes or some Jordans? Right? I'm not rocking. I, I, I got personal. to the point where I like. I rather like plain things, man. Right. Like, I recently, yeah. Like, I, I got to that point where I, I don't like to. I don't like shirts with like a lot of branding. Mm-hmm. I like like plain, like no. You know what I'm saying? All black. Although man. the brand All is black. You know what I'm saying? Like although the like for instance you know the brand but it's like although it's not showing it I like it more like plain you know what I'm saying that way you know you don't give I don't know it's just something about me and shoes too I stopped wearing Jordans now I'm starting to wear like more casual. Bro, don't let me get on this soapbox. Well, go ahead, nah. It, it, hey, this is for you, bro. To the So so okay so personally, personally, like I, I'm in a space where I enjoy comfort right, rather yep. than rather than a name mm-hmm. or a brand, you know what I'm saying? For example, for example, like Gildan Tees, right? Gildan Tees, after a while, they just feel like cardboard, bro. After Probably after thing. like the fifth right? watch. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and then I was talking to my homie David, shout out David. Um, we were talking about Uniqlo. Mm-hmm. Right, Uniqlo has basic tees, twenty dollars, mm-hmm. fire quality, bro, mm-hmm. fire quality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Goodfella, for example, at Target, solid quality. You know what I mean? Um, and like, so for me, I don't wear, I don't wear jeans anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, it, and that's just a personal thing. I don't wear jeans because, like, I don't, I don't like how they feel. Like on my, I feel constricted right, right, when I wear right. jeans. You know what I mean? So, so what I've been on is I've been wearing slacks yes. yeah, a lot me more too, man. now. Slacks, mm-hmm. chino pants. You know what I mean? Um, and like when it comes to, when it comes to shoes, like I've um, I've I've done my own. Like I've figured out what I what I like and what I feel mm-hmm. comfortable in. So, like for example, with Jordans. The majority of them feel like bricks on my feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, like, agree, I bought, man. I bought. What was it? What was it? some Jordan? Oh Dukes? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. heavy, bulky, and I, and I wore them. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Bulky as hell. They felt like blocks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like so so I got gifted some Jordans for, for Christmas. Um and like I like I I wanted them because I saw my I could see myself mm -hmm. wearing them. Right. But am I gonna am I gonna like wear them to the point where they don't feel like bricks anymore? Right. Like, is that even possible? You know what I'm saying? It's the same, it's the same thing with, like, with like Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. The Fazos, like, they feel like bricks. They make my yeah. they make my foot look like bricks. And, and after after you know a couple I mean? wears, like, the, the freaking crease, like, that, that's mm -hmm. the worst. Yeah, them shit is good. Like, you, you, it, even on the first good. time wearing them, you try to walk a certain way so you don't crease them. So it's just, like, stupid, man. That's why nah, yeah. like, I'm starting to, yeah, I'm not starting to like them as much. But you guys brought up an idea, though. <laughs> I got an idea really quick. I think this would be cool to do. Um, sure. welcome to the game show. <laughs> so basically, uh, I want to know your guys' uh price range for certain things. All right, like, what is all right so oh, from guys. from top to bottom? Like, all right, starting off starting okay. off with uh, I mean, you guys wear hats. What what's too much for you to give for a hat? Like, what's the price that you can't pass to give like for a hat price wise? I mean, over seventy. Over how many seventy? Yeah, yeah, I would say. I mean, for me, it's a little lower. 70. Maybe like. Yeah, seventy for a hat is crazy. Maybe yeah, like bro. over forty five. Wow. Yeah, I think I think I think I That's think forty forty five. Yeah, because yeah, you can get a fitted for mm -hmm. like what, like thirty five, and then maybe if you want to add some forty, mm -mm. 40? Mm -mm. 40, 40 up. Mm -mm. 40 Damn, up, they bro. went up. Mm -mm. Man, it's, it's been a while now, since. That, see what I'm it's saying? been a while. You see, you see what we're talking about? Yeah. You see it's what been we're a while, about? huh? You gotta get in the know, brother. Yeah, fact. You gotta be in the know. Yeah, this, this man, this man, bro. So they going for forty. I, I gave him. I gave. I, I gave him that hat, man. You crazy, man. You crazy. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What, what size? What size fitted you wear, <laughs> Mike? I am seven <laughs> and put the hat back on, man. Put the hat back on, yeah. man. Do yourself a favor, man. Yeah, <laughs> hair like looking a little rough, you heard? <laughs> you said seven and, and what? listen, man, I work today. Seven, I work today. Ass, seven and five, five eight. I'm just playing. <laughs> I got a small, but this is Bro, this is yeah. big. This I got it when I, my hair was longer, so you know. <laughs> 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 For a quest face, yeah. I'm right, right, so, cool. right. head, bro. All right, so going down, I going bet. down. Shirt. What's too much for a shirt? Oh, I feel like the shirt, shirt and pants are the most important. I feel like for a shirt. Come on, man. Shirt. Stop, stop I can, jumping. The, I can spend a good fifty, man. fifty dollars. Fifty. Okay. Anything above fifty is too crazy. Yeah, same. Because you gotta be comfortable. Same, same. Damn. I don't think. I, I, I don't think I've ever given I personally for a shirt. In my life, I don't think I've given more than twenty, twenty five dollars, bro. Mm. Nah. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Like, mind you, okay, like we're not buying designer shit. Like, I don't like right. designer shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm that. more I'm more of a I'm more of a streetwear guy, right? Yeah. So like let's say for example, Stussy, you know, uh, I hit I hit a store. I find a Stussy T and it's like. Damn, I'm lying. I think thirty. 50, I think thirty was my max. Fifty. Fifty dollars. Yeah. You know okay. Fifty dollars. And and like. And you and like you buy it and it's good quality. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's that's when it that's when it boils down to quality once again. Mm -hmm. Like well you know I mean? well I, all right so technically, excluding the sale what? excluding the sale price, you know. It probably was worth a little bit. Like, you know, right. I probably have shirts that are worth like, <laughs> worth the like 50, 50 60, 60 70 dollars. But you get them at a good price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I get, you will see me in the, when I go in the store, I'm going right to the sale <laughs> spot. That's me. Ain't nothing yeah, wrong with that me. either. My son, my son be at, my son be at Ross. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm saying like, nah, I'm saying like, I'd walk into like, no, it's not, no, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's just like, I have bad experience with it. Like, I'd, you know, There'd be a hole, you know, somewhere in the shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or you'd yeah, wash yeah, yeah. it, and, and they would like come so apart. I don't, I don't like shopping there. Oh. My favorite store recently, you know, guys, you could sponsor me if you like. You know, hey, Forever Twenty One, man. Forever Twenty One got mm. a lot of great. Oh man, yeah. hey, hey, free my, free my boy, free my boy from the mm. trenches, bro. <laughs> Forever Twenty One, man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, and Express, and Express, Express, right, Express, Express. Express. Right, okay. Express. I take. Okay, so now. <laughs> So now you're moving into the whole like 
into the more expensive shit. I mean, I've right. always been expressed. Be I've, I've always been expressed, though, my whole life. All right, bro. You got to find the mileage good, deals. That's what it is, money. Quest. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong with Ferris 21? What, what am I missing out? The quality. What? I, okay, so, so my... The quality so, so has been great drive. for me. <sighs> okay, for you. <laughs> for you. For you. Okay. <laughs> so... My gripe with Forever 21 is like, let's say you find a jacket, yeah. right? And you're like, damn, this, this, this is a fire jacket. You know what I'm saying? And then you fucking turn it around and they got a whack ass graphic on the back of it. Like, what, bro? What? That is that bad luck. Cause I, mean, I found like, some dope shirts in Forever 21, bro. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock you for it, right? <laughs> I'm just knocking you for it just, just for the, Bro, just, just bro, the, bro, bro, bro. How you gonna knock me when you buy on, well, how you gonna bro. knock me when you buy on Sheen and Timo, man? You can't Ooh. knock me, bro. <laughs> man, come on, man. We, I'm, I'm not even get into this with you. Okay, bro. man. Like, like. Okay, so speaking of, because I'm, a, I'm a big jackets mm. kind of guy. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm, in, I'm into jackets a lot. Like jackets are my thing. You know, what I'm saying I love to layer. Um, <laughs> so the most I've dropped on a jacket. Okay. A hundred dollars. Okay, I mean, a hundred dollars on a jacket. See, see, my, myself, myself. Yeah. Jackets are understandable. Myself, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, well, maybe I'm thinking coats, but you know, uh, like puffers and stuff like that. Coats, mm-hmm. too. yeah. They're they're they're, they're that's an investment, bro. That's not hundred percent. Yeah, it is. a shirt. A shirt. Sure. You can't compare a shirt or any other thing to a jacket, or coat, or whatever, because that's a whole investment. Mm-hmm. Not in your case, because you're in freaking mm-hmm. Cali, but. You know, when we're in the, when we were on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying, and now in the Midwest and where I'm at, it's an investment because you know you see a lot of people wearing freaking Canadian goose, whatever the heck it's called, Canada goose. Yo, yo, I heard Canadian goose kind of fire. It's though, fire, you know? but it's like it's two thousand, a thousand dollars for a jacket. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, uh, see, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not. And jacket. people, and people, I've talked to people that own them. They're like, hey, it's an investment. I'm like, yeah, good. <laughs> you can't convince me. On that one. I mean, it's an investment right, for you. Yeah. It ain't gonna be an investment for me. They're I'm like, not. it's real duck feathers. Or goose feathers. <laughs> like, I'm like, you warm, boy. Like, and warm. you get like a warranty, like, like a lifetime warranty. Go. I'm like, okay. Again, it's a personal. it's a personal thing. Bro, Michael, yeah, Michael, I know you're not bro, oh, Michael. This listen, piss is man, bro, this piss is no 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 let me let me talk. Let me talk. This this is no this is what this no 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 this is what pisses me off. This man is talking bad about uh-huh. Forever 21 when he put me on to Forever 21. So make that make sense. I mean, after a while, like at make first that. it was cool because you know they they have like a lot of like pop culture thing, but my style shifted <clears> and it's not what I like anymore. Nah. <laughs> what it the heck is he to, man? My like I, style. He said my style. Yeah, shifted. like now I'm I'm more like a well, more I'm, casual, I'm more, more respect, relaxed. Bro. Usually if you see me so, wearing a t shirt, it's either gonna be white, black, or gray, like neutral colors. That's what he's I've been this, on. This one this wanna be this wanna be Kanye Alofoke one Ah be, nah, you crazy. Get out of here with that. Alofoke. <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> nah, like okay. That that's another thing too, because like if you if you think about Forever Twenty One, you think about H and M, right? Same thing. Yeah, but like H and M got web quality, mm-hmm. in my opinion. I never bought I never bought any information now. So I mean H and M, like honestly, bro, I. like all the H&M, fast yeah. fashion like brands, like I tried both H and M Forever Twenty One. That shit is ass. It's, it's not made to last. Like now, at least now where I'm at in my point in life, I'd rather make the investment, pay a little more. And have something that's gonna last me a little longer. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's a there's a problem with these companies too, man. You guys, you know, can relate, but with me, you know, I'm a mm-hmm. taller guy, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. you know, you know my I was just about to tell you about your height. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, a, 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 a lot of these companies, they, they don't cater to like taller you know, taller or bigger people, man. Especially which is, the is fast something fashion. I think is wrong. Or shorter individuals. Or shorter. Or shorter. So I feel like they need to be more, you know, wider. I feel yeah. like a lot. I mean, the companies that do are the online, you know, services. Uh, like for instance, Fashion Nova's and those. You know, they they have a wider range. You know, they have the five X L's and the you mm-hmm. know the super smalls. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, so it's like uh, I think th- they're you know ahead of the curve with that, and I appreciate that. 
But I feel like more companies should open up more, you know. But then again, the demand isn't as big, so I understand. Right. No, nah, and, and my my beef is because I got big thighs. Like my size that yeah. I that I hey pause pause <laughs> pause pause. Hold on, hold on, oh, hold on, yeah. man. Why, why you make that face? Hey, so, yo. I man with big thighs. <laughs> For me, hey, it's, it's it's harder. It's 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 harder like for me to buy like jeans that will fit me properly. So I always have to buy them online. Or if I go to the store, that's why you buy slacks. That I've been getting into slacks more and like so I've been getting away from jeans a little more. Like I probably only right now only own like probably like two pairs of jeans. But I've been wearing more like khakis, uh, chinos, uh, and like slacks, kind of like dressier pants. And honestly, it's a lot more comfortable, and usually they have a lot bit more room, you know, in the areas that restrict me with some other clothing. So, 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 going to that, what, what is the what is the uh, the uh, max price for pants? For pants? Shit, I almost dropped. Yeah, like I can I can go up there with some pants. I almost <laughs> dropped two hundred dollars on pants. Almost, I didn't do it. People, people, people giving people close. giving thousands for a Marys, man. I mean, pants. Nah, pants is just nah, like nah, one of those article clothes that you can wear that you wear. Frequently. I think, yeah, I, th- I think, yeah, I think, I think pants are more of an investment, right? Yeah, in my opinion, more than a shirt and more than you know. what I'm saying, I mean, because the, there's something you wear more, more than they, they, something you wear more frequently. You know, you don't have a wider range of yeah. pants selection compared to your shirts, right? Because you can only do so much. The colors are, you know, yeah, you scale probably you like that much. Couple different colors, couple different style, and then you can match that with like a oh, hundred million different shirts and jackets right 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 now what about shoes Ooh, i feel like for me Damn. i don't have a limit on shoes bro <laughs> Damn. for me i right, know nah, relax all right all right 800 800, <laughs> 800. Damn. 800 that's it this man never gave eight hundred dollars for no shoes, man. No, but I, I mean, if it's something that I really like and I will actually wear, my, bro, I'll buy it. Yeah, you're saying BS. Like you're, what, you're BSing, bro. Like you're what, BSing, Michael? bro. This man BS. Like what, Michael? He's BS. Answer the question. If I find some like exclusive what? shit that I what like, you, you know, I got it. This man is BSing, bro. He's BS. I mean, I I pay like if if but, I if Travis Scott was to release a pair that I like, that I really <laughs> like, and I will wear frequently. I'll buy it. Yeah. That's why I said, like, I I don't really have a limit for shoes because if it's something that I like, regardless of, you know, what the price it is, if I really like, I'm going to end up buying it. So. I hear you, man. In in that same same vein, Mm Off-White, you know, Virgil came out with the, with the, with the, with the Mm -hmm. top tens, right? So he dropped. So he dropped Prestos, Nike Prestos, mm-hmm. right? The original, the original Prestos. Now they go for a lot right. more now since he passed away. Rest in peace. Um, but like, bro, the original pair of like, like that bone white with the blue mm-hmm. with the navy. Them, those shoes were going for damn near two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And like the amount of times that I just looked at the shoe <laughs> and was like and was like, damn. If I had the money, I'd buy it. If exactly. I had the money, exactly. I would definitely buy it. Buy the shoe. That's what I'm, you know what I'm saying. That's what I mean right but there. But like like that's why I can really put like a cap like, on <laughs> when it comes to shoes, I can't really put a cap on it. But it's not realistic because you like, guys are saying that not having the money, and then when you have the money, you're not gonna do it. No, no, no. I'm, Okay, okay, so let me tell you how much I've spent on sneakers, bro. So, I think, I think, on two, on two different occasions, I've dropped a little under 400 on some sneakers, right? And then, on the second time, I dropped... Yeah, a little under four hundred. So, I want to say, I want to say like my 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 cap would probably be like four. Yeah, okay. I think I think that's the same for yeah. me. I think that's the same for me. Honestly, yeah, I think that's the All same right. for me. Four hundred is reasonable. Unlike you know, like like so, 
for me, like I got I got a small mm-hmm. foot, you know what I'm saying? So like you would you would think like, oh, you know, it's a bit cheaper. Nah, big kids. I mean it is, but when <laughs> when you when you look at when you look at like when you look at like spots like GOAT, StockX, even even the smaller boutiques, like their price ranges, I don't I don't see nothing like that that's like hype, quote unquote, that's under under like mm-hmm. two fifty in my size. Type shit, you know what I mean? Like I recently bought some some Doc Martin loafers, and I dropped like one. I dropped one fifty mm. on those shoes. You know what I mean? Um, so, like the lowest I bought shoes was for like seventy dollars at one point. You know what I mean? Like, um, and then like I bought some I bought some Sambas for like one twenty. Damn Sambas, yeah. Which which <laughs> is like, which is pretty pretty. Like there was a point they had the, the Adidas had everybody on a choco with them mm-hmm. Samoas the uh, all those like uh, different types of uh, Adidas they they were the ultra boost yeah yeah you know that when when Yeezy when Yeezy was at a height you know what I'm saying um but like but I I really fuck so I fuck with uh I fuck with the Samba silhouette you know what I mean mm-hmm. like so if I can find that in a different shoe mm-hmm. I definitely cop. You know what I mean? But I want to cop some Sambas again. Just because just cause it's a versatile right. shoe. It yep. goes with everything. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What if, so, Fun. 400. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I would say. Like, for example, like underwear, like the essentials, <laughs> I'm not dropping more than like, more than 30 bucks. Hell that no. is true. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some some people some people spend not. Nah, I think it's crazy for one pair. Like for instance, them PSDs. People spend like thirty dollars for one. I pair would never do that, man. Oh yeah, I can nah, walk into nah. TJ Maxx Hell get some no. Calvin Klein's a whole pack of four for twenty five. Come on now. <laughs> you know, yeah, you feel me? Like, socks. Hey, nah, same thing, man. I used to find a deal, buy a bunch of them at the same time. Like bro, like bro, I I I'll hit Uniqlo and get a bunch of socks for like. Get four pairs of socks for like right. twenty four dollars. Damn, bro, yeah, y'all, y'all are better than me. Bro. I think I'm a, I think I'm a cheap person, then, man. I, I recently bought a pair. I bought like twelve, was it twelve? Twelve pairs of socks for like nine, like ten dollars. Damn, man, where way. the fuck did you find twelve pairs of socks for ten dollars? Yeah, where at, at Burlington? All right, all right, you got it, you got it. That's that's fair. That's, a... that's fair. Cause, it, cause, no, 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 cause like. Cause a motherfucker like me go to Target, try and get a pack of socks, and that should'll be like. Well, I, th- hours, I think dude. I think it all depends though. Like I mean, cause me, I'm not a person that shows socks. You know what I'm saying? I can care less. Like you know, they're gonna be under. Shit, I do. So I mean, you wear more shorts than I do though. But you know what I'm saying? I think it all depends. You know what I'm saying? If you're like a person that you want to show your you you know your socks, then I feel like you can invest in some stance socks. You know, like those type of socks with a length. You know, vibe to them, vibrant vibe. I've been. I've been. I've been buying uh, this, a bunch of dresses. This socks, man, bro. Michael, froze. He is so focused. Is, is he no, frozen? He's frozen, bro. Damn. Damn. Is it, uh, <laughs> we be we be deep in a conversation, and this motherfucker, we look over at Michael. He's just like, <laughs> he's like this. Damn. Actually, I don't even. It says okay. I don't know what happened to him. Now he's gone. Yo, Michael. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well. Just... I don't know what to do, guys. Oh wait. <laughs> nah, Juan. Oh, you you got pros too. Huh? I thought I thought I was about to lose you, bro. He said we cut out. How the, how the, bro? You cut out. What? He said we cut out. He said like he said y'all cut out, bro. You cut out. Nah, he cut out. Yeah, show show him a picture this. Bro, all of this has to stay in. You say what? We got to keep this. We got to keep these technical difficulties. We got to show that we're all... Bro, here. is he coming back? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't think he's... Hey, man, we can finish up the show. Yeah, What's yeah, that? but... Uh, all right, okay. <laughs> the thing... <laughs> bro, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> I'm confused. Cause... What the heck? Wait, what the fuck? You said we, you said Yo. we cut out. You cut out. You were gone. You were gone for a solid like 10, 15 minutes, bro. Now he's back. 
Yeah, bro. Like you guys literally like it went all dark, and then you went. You literally went dark. But on. anyways, let's just wrap this bro. up, man. It's too many. But hold on. Yeah. <laughs> too many. Uh, yeah. Technical difficulties. Yeah. We, we gotta keep a few of them in, though. If we're being honest. All right. Well, yeah. hey guys, we do. This is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode <laughs> of the You Know the People That's podcast. Damn, just like that. Uh, yeah, man, I, I get irritated, man. You know, but uh, oh, damn. yeah, man. So, so, go. and I'm hungry. I haven't ate all day, man. So, bear, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a pee. Bear, yeah. Hey, that's TMI, man. Nobody wants to hear that. What, bro. man? Y'all don't be going to the bathroom. What the fuck, sir? <laughs> Quest. Y'all don't be using the restroom, bro. <laughs> Any last words for the listeners Man. and viewers on the United you know, podcast? <laughs> um, I don't know. So if y'all if y'all ever need to be mellowed down, brought back to earth, um, I got you. Bring me onto your show. You know what I'm saying? Um, nah, in all seriousness, um, thank y'all for having me on. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, it's always fun when we link up. Mm-hmm. Um and yeah, thank y'all for listening. Um drink your water, wash your ass. Um and uh yeah. The boys will be back next week and y'all y'all gonna see me soon. Oh you okay, Let's bet see. damn. Sure. Oh, so uh Quest and Friends. So yeah, update people on what to expect in twenty twenty four for Quest and Friends the podcast, man, before we get out of here. Um Quest and Friends Quest and Friends is still coming. Hey um, yo We're working <laughs> Pause. We're working on, we're working on a mixtape still. Um, we're waiting on vocal on uh, on some on some vocals to 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 get cleared. You know what I'm saying? But but you know it's, it's still in the works. Um, I got new cover art. You know what I'm saying? You can find Question Friends available on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. Um, we used to we used to be every week, but you know what I'm saying now. In the year of 2024, we are um, moving forward to possibly just monthly or two episodes a month. Hey, yo. So y'all going to see me. Y'all going to see me, but y'all may not see me as often. You know, I may become just an enigma. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Make <laughs> make appearances on you know the V, but I was Ooh, in like three months or something. Tough, yes, tough, sir, tough. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? My fly out to, to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Tough. I don't know. Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know, man. Nah, man. But <laughs> you never know, bro. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, man. Uh, it's funny that every time you're on here, it's always like a <laughs> random uh, Colombian conversation. Yeah, random some things reason. happening. And then, uh... <laughs> no, it's not random. No, what is it? Bro, you have an agenda against me. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about me being a, being a hater? Hell no. Nah. Every time I come on, it's some shit, bro. Nah, man. <laughs> it's all good, man. Every time you come on, there's difficult, te- uh, yeah, difficult bro, technical difficulties. I don't know what it is, bro. It's only when Quest comes on, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, man. But uh, That's crazy. But uh, let's, let's close this out, man. I'm starving, man. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I'm sorry, guys, uh, for the community, the, the uh, <laughs> technical <shopping>. difficulties. <laughs> if you want to blame that, blame that on Michael. You know, go uh, comment, <laughs> go crash his Instagram, report his account if you want, do everything you want. Hey, no, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> But hey, <laughs> that's, what, that, that's what comes with the territory of being virtual. Things out of our control sometimes happen. No, it's in your control. It's in your control. We're dealing with it. Good PR. All right, I cannot control. It's in your control. control you hear that? <laughs> Right. Sometimes just but yeah, happen. sometimes things just happens. All right, you know we we're gonna keep it pushing, <laughs> and you know Quest, thank you once again to come for coming on on the show. Uh, it's always a good time too. having you on here. It's always I feel like we can talk for hours, but <laughs> we really can. We yeah. really can. Though. Yeah, you guys really know can, what to do already. You guys make sure if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. If you uh, also hit that notification bell, that way you get updated with the latest and newest and newest coming from the You Know the Vibras podcast. And as hey. always, remember sure to, subscribe to subscribe and let's subscribe. buy. And let's buy. And let's buy. Let's go. Peace out. I'm Molly Pass. Damn, boy. I'm Molly Pass. Oh, I'm Molly Pass. Oh.